What is up guys? Welcome to our GPC Season 6 Draft Analysis. That's right, we are starting up Season 6, Gen 7. We're ready to go. And uh, I'm just going to tell you right away, guys, uh, we're going to have a lot of noise in this video because we have a couple of people joining us Hell today. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's all the Christmas decorations up, only one more thing to hang. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What is that even? Okay, no. <laughs> All right. It's a suicide joke, Caster. We have our good friends, two of my best friends from this community, uh, Jar, Jar Boss, and uh, I can't believe he didn't stop the video after the suicide joke. He's he's committed. No, dude, I'm I I'm literally I committed. It. <laughs> and we have Rob with us, of course, Poke Rob, Your mother Robin Vart. <laughs> I think this will be. I, I think this is going to be going out on Saturday. So. Um, this could be the worst video you've ever posted. <laughs> it probably will be, yes. But <laughs> this is going up on Saturday, guys. So uh, by now you already know that uh, we, all three of us, are GBA analysts. So yeah, there's that. So Wait, I, wanted, I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> you were there last <laughs> season. <laughs> I, w I wanted the three of us in a call. I'm for honored. This. Uh, it's the first time since I found out that I got uh, accepted and I got invited into the chat that uh, we're recording and talking all together. So, yeah, I wanted these two with me. Uh, it's very nice yeah, of them to Yeah, the chat to is lit this. with noobs right now. Yep. Totally. Aster is probably the most qualified, but somehow me and Rob got in first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this draft analysis. The first thing I want to say is round one, one of my best friends sniped me. No uh, no heat toward Dom, but Dom was, uh, was picking right before me. I was picking fifth. And I wanted Tapu Koko. I mentioned this in the NPL Miners draft that I wanted to draft Koko first round uh, and pair it up with something like Jirachi. But uh, Dom got to it first. We had talked about it. I told him that I was going to get um, Tapu Koko and Mega Beedrill, and he completely forgot and ended up ch choosing Tapu Koko right before me. So uh, I was at a loss. My entire draft plan, the idea of wanted, what I wanted to do with my draft, was gone out the window, and I had to think of something new to do. And sitting there, right there, just waiting to be picked, was a Pokemon that I always wanted to use, that I had never gotten a chance to, uh, and is that is often considered one of the best Pokemon by far in Draft League format, and that is Megalopony. And we picked Megalopony round one, and uh, guys, you talk about this thing for a little bit. Alright, so let me tell you something about Dom. Alright, this man, he listens to Aster, he listens to his problems. He says, he says, Aster, what you want first round, my dude? Aster tells him, honestly, as a friend, in a safe <laughs> space, I want Tapu Koko. You know what, Dom? Aster took it easy on you. I'm not going to do that. And then Dom goes under Aster and picks it right before him. Dom, that is cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. All right, so now you want to talk about Lopany? <laughs> sure. <clears throat> All right. I've had this thing. I, I had the same experience as Aster. I hadn't gotten to use it because somebody always hogs it in the leagues. Right? <laughs> Jose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I got to draft it in the NPL Miners, uh, and it has been an absolute monster. This thing is extremely hard to switch into. It gets a lot of utility on core and etc. It's just, its dual stabs are unresisted, and it gets the elemental punches. What more do you need? Thanks more to do Scrappy, need? of course. Yeah. Yep. It's beautiful. It's uh, it even gets a uh, decent special coverage if you want to hit things for four times effective damage, like Land OT with Ice Beam or Garchomp, uh, Thunderbolt for like pesky, I don't know, um, Mantines, for example. Uh, it's, it Gyarados gets, becomes that big of a threat. Yeah, exactly. It gets uh, Power Up Punch, which is often seen uh, in League format because this thing forces switches. It gets to boost its own attack as a result. Uh, it just gets, a, like Jar said, a huge amount of utility. Uh, remind us about your Cosmic Power set, my friend. Yeah. So before I met Aster, I came up with a team he actually did a live with. It was a Cosmic Power Baton Pass low Pony. And I think Aster has the utility to make that work. I I'm think, really hoping you bring it. I think I do, and I think I will bring it at some point. Not saying against two, but I have a pretty good idea already. There so, you go. Yeah, there it is. So that's, uh, that's the Mega. Like my opinion on it? I really don't. I, I was going to give you the next Mon, but if you want to talk about Megalopony, go ahead, Rob. <laughs> He's going to do a dumb impression. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Here comes Christopher Walken. <laughs> I'll take Latich now for 200. <laughs> that's Sean Connery, that's, right? That's Celebrity those Jeopardy. Let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next Mon. Uh, we drafted... Uh, I, I kind of wanted to go into this draft getting Pokemon that I had never used before. 
Uh, and this next Pokemon kind of fits into that category, but at the same time, I have used it in Link format before, uh, very recently actually, but I didn't get to use it to its fullest potential, and I wanted to run it through an entire season. Uh, when I first thought of what to pair with Megalopony as a second round pick, uh, the first thing that came to mind was Reuniclus, uh, because I felt like a strong, bulky Psychic type that could also sweep under Trick Room, uh, can take a lot of the hits that Megalopony can't, it can be built to take uh, things like Flying Attacks, especially Psychic, uh, and other things like that, but... Uh, Johnny actually suggested that we get something else, and this Mon is the Hax King himself. Lucky and Bad, the Jirachi. I didn't cover uh, Lopini's nickname, it's Luna. And uh, Lucky and Bad, the Jirachi. Rob, you want to take this one? <clears throat> so, Jirachi is a really cool Mon because, uh, you know, designs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's got those sleek edges. And, uh,. I'm this close to lowering your user volume. You're not, not going to stop the master. <laughs> I'm trying to. I couldn't get, think of an impression in time. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to mute him if you are. <laughs> no, no, we're good. We're good. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, so of course we went over it in the NPL Miners draft recap, but Jirachi is just amazing. Uh, special and physical coverage is insane. Uh, I think it gets a grand total of 12 types across uh, its coverage which is really crazy. Uh, Serene Grace paired with Iron Head is the most annoying thing to deal with in the world. Jirachi is a win condition on its own. I've said that before, but it can pretty much win games and bring them back, uh, even if you're in the worst of positions just because of this move. Uh, the fact that you can run a Choice Scarf with it, base 100 speed is amazing. Uh, and also its bulk is fantastic if you want to run a Calm Mind set behind a sub, anything of that sort. Also, it's a Wish Passer, and I wanted to start building a Wish Passing core uh, on my team. So Jirachi with its base 100 HP once again can fulfill that role very, very well. Uh, also a plethora of resists, I won't go over it now, but I think it resists like 8 types uh, because of this typing uh, being Psychic and Steel. Uh, some key resists like uh, Fairy. I definitely wanted a Fairy resist because my next Mon is actually weak to Fairy as well. Uh, and Jirachi just fits that perfectly. Again, so much utility, so much this thing can do, U-turn for momentum. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Jirachi. So let's move on to the next Mon, and uh, that is going to be the next part of our Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Now there's a Pokemon that I saw uh, during my UPA offseason draft uh, that got drafted, and it looked like a huge threat, but that's because of its alternate ability, uh, which is not allowed in the GPC, but it still get, got a huge boost from Gen 7. I wanted a dragon that can pretty much hit everything and doesn't have to worry about coverage. So I ended up drafting Zygarde, 50%. And Zygarde now gets 1,000 arrows, which is a ground move that hits everything. It doesn't matter if it's flying, levitate, it doesn't care. It's a base 90 physical ground move that just hits everything. Not only that, if it smacks down, because uh, it basically gets the effect of smackdown, an electric flying type like, let's say, Zapdos, uh, the next 1,000 arrows will be super effective. So even if it only took like 30% from the first hit, it will go down to the following hit, barring maybe leftovers recovery. Uh, and of course, its other stab being Dragon is just so threatening uh, in general. Only fairies really deal with it. Steel types as well, but Steel types don't want to take 1,000 arrows in general. And uh, there are a lot of other uh, special moves that this thing gets as well with base 81 special attack. Very usable. Uh, things like Focus Blast, Grass Knot, uh, if I need to use them, Sludge Wave to hit fairies. It also gets Iron Tail. Uh, me and Jar actually had a practice game. Uh, with our finish... I don't recall any practice uh, game. Uh -huh. we, we had a practice game with our Finnish GPC teams. Uh, I won't tell you the result, but I did bring Iron Tail for his Togekiss. Uh, so that was an option to, to hit his fairies. Uh, it died speed. to Togekiss later that day. Yep, pre yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> so another thing that I really wanted to focus on was getting a lot of priority on this team. Uh, I started off with Megalopony. I wanted pri priority spam, basically. Uh, Jolt in his draft review video for the NPL mentioned that you can pretty much work yourself out of games if you uh, out of bad situations and haxy situations if you have a lot of priority on your team uh, such as fake out quick attack and now we have extreme speed with Zygarde 50% so this is just an amazing mon coil and dragon dance for setup uh, I really want to have a dragon dance mon on my team from here till I stop playing Pokemon as long as I'm drafting uh, I think that dragon dancers are extremely threatening uh, things like Haxorus, Wind Conditions, uh, Dragonite, stuff like that. So I ended up getting Zygarde. Of course, this quad weakness to ice is something we do have to worry about a little bit. But we do have Jirachi that can take most ice hits uh, and fire back with Iron Head. So that's a pretty nice core so far. I like it. Uh, anybody else want to comment on Zygarde 50%? Uh, I would like to make a comment. Go for it. If Aster ever brings 
a fully special Zygarde, I will give him 10 bucks. But that's never going to happen, because he lied to you. Its special attack is not usable. It is usable. Of course it is. Oh, nope, not usable. Crazy? I'll, I'll make it happen. You, you liar. I'm going to do All it. All right, I want to see it. I'm going to do You'll it. You'll have 10 bucks coming your way. All right, awesome. We'll make it happen. All right, so that's pretty much it for Zygarde. It's, uh, don't forget, guys, it also still gets Earthquake. So if I don't have to run 1,000 arrows, I won't. I'll go for the extra power and go for Earthquake. So uh, do keep that in mind. Glare is cool. I didn't see that before. Uh, it also gets Haze, which is nice. All right, so that pretty much covers Zygarde. Drizzy, uh, I named this thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't tell you why it's called Drizzy. Uh, I'll, fi I'll figure it out later, but anyway, moving on to the I'll next take, one. I'll take this next one because Aster ripped it right out of my playbook. Yep, pretty yep. much. Uh, I, I wanted, loved Floaters. I, I wanted... <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I can't mute him yet. You're no, welcome. No, we're fine. Um, I really wanted to finish off the Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Rob already ruined it for you all, but we did end up... Oh, I didn't even just... realize you were hiding them. Yes, I'm hiding them. <laughs> So, uh, How was I supposed to know that? Fun fact, uh, Shiny Zygarde and uh, Florgis, the white one, actually have uh, the exact same color scheme, and they look really cool together. Shitty green and white, he is correct. Yes, that's right. So, uh, yeah, Jar, take uh, take Florgis, because you have a lot of experience with this mon, so... I do. It. Ast <laughs> I don't hate it. Aster, you know, got whipped by me in the MPL Myers. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason he lost was because Floor just PP stalled out his Clefable. So he was like, "All right, Jar is the best battler I know. How did he beat me?" And he was like, "All right, Floor just." And I gotta say, this thing, it is the least versatile mod I have ever used. But it is very good at one thing: being fat and passing semi-weak wishes. But <laughs> it is a fairy type. And this thing can actually hit stab moon blast. So if as long as you're gonna, it's your dragon stopper. That's what it is. Look at Aster's team. What stops like a Zygarde fifty percent from just running trained on him? I'll tell you what, Florges now. All right, this thing can be defensive. You can run berries on it, but it is the least versatile mon on Aster's team, and that's saying a lot considering some of the mons he has later. Absolutely. Um, now, nobody else can you really use Zygarde 50% against me unless it's in finals because this is uh, League format, so nobody else has I know. it. But uh, Jar does make a good point. Something like, um, let's take Garchomp, for example, right now runs through me uh, because I have a Jirachi and a Zygarde, but Floor just kind of puts a stop to that. It forces them to run coverage like Poison Jab. And he did mention berries. You could just run a uh, cast. Is it Kibia. Kibia, 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 yeah. yeah. Can be a berry, and uh, there you go. You take the uh, poison jab, no problem. Fire back a moon blast, uh, or whatever you want, and toxic, anything. And uh, it's, yeah. it's basically a fairy chancy because you're not getting through this thing on the spin F side. You could be a Zard Y, and you're not. It's if it's spin F, you're not breaking it, even with fire blast. Yeah, pretty much. I actually expected Jar to bring a um, a spin F Florges against me because I had a Thunderous and a uh, a Keldeo in NPL Miners, and he didn't even have to. He brought it fully Fizz Def, uh, and it was still able to check both of those mons very easily. So, yeah, it did. So yeah, that's I'm good the, at this game. <laughs> that's that base 154 special special defense coming through. So that's our fairy dragon steel core already done. Uh, now I did want to eventually get to a, uh, a firewater grass core somewhere along the line, but my next pick was kind of important, knowing that I had uh, Tapu Koko snipe for me. I definitely wanted a fast electric type, and uh, like I said before, uh, there are a couple of mons that are repetitive in this draft uh, compared to our NPL miners team. Uh, and the next Pokemon I decided to draft was Rageki, the Thunderous Therian. So we already had this one in NPL Miners, but once again, it's a, it's a Pokemon that I didn't get to use enough, I felt like. Uh, the one uh, match that I won with it, uh, I ran Assault Vest, and I found it very, very versatile. Uh, its defenses are not bad. 79, 70, and 80 are definitely usable if invested correctly, and to check specific things. Because keep in mind that Thunderous Therian is only weak to two typings, Rock and Ice and it has a lot of resist in its arsenal. Also, it's a ground immunity, something that I didn't have yet. My team was very weak to Earthquake spam, especially with Jirachi as one of my main sources of offense, so I did definitely needed a ground check. Now, of course, uh, it does get hit by Stone Edge. Edgequake is very common, but uh, you can run things like Charty Berry to make up for that. And of course, this thing has amazing coverage uh, with a Thunderbolt, uh, Hidden Power Ice, uh, Focus Blast, Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, Grass Knot. It can hit anything that it wants to, essentially. Uh, and it also, it can, it's a double dancer, so it gets Nasty Plot, uh, it gets Agility, it also gets Bulk Up, you can use that as well. Uh, on the physical side, it gets Knock Off and Super Power, for example. It's a fast taunter, that's also something that I wanted. And U-Turn for Momentum or Volt Switch. I love electric types that also have U-Turn. It's kind of why I wanted Tapu Koko. It forces your opponent to 
bring in their ground type and essentially lose momentum to keep them from taking a bunch of damage from a, a stab volt switch. So that's why I love U-turn on electric types. And another thing is that this, uh, I didn't explain this at the beginning, but the GPC, the way that it's working this season is that uh, each team that drafts can draft up to one Z-Mon, so that can use a Z-Crystal. That's pretty much, uh, every every league is, is going its own direction, and the GPC decided to make one Pokemon eligible for Z-Moves, and Thunderous Therian is actually our Z-Move user. Uh, it, it costed us an extra point to draft it, and we have to bring a Z-Crystal to four games if we do bring Thunderous Therian four times uh, minimum. So... Uh, I will be running a Z-Crystal. I'm not going to go into too much depth into uh, what I want to do with this thing. Jar, don't spoil it. Uh, because I ran something very interesting against Jar and it ended up doing very well. Uh, and there are a lot of different... <laughs> there are a lot of different things that Thunder Asterion can do with a Z-Crystal. So I'm uh, looking forward to using this thing. I needed it mainly... Thunderbolt. Yeah, sure. Uh, a Gigavolt Havoc, <laughs> yeah. I mainly grabbed it for the ground immunity, though. That was the big thing for me, so... Uh, I love having this thing. It's also a great speed tier at 101. We did explain this in the NPL Miners draft recap, but if you guys didn't watch that, then there you go. That's its speed tier. It's able to outspeed every base 100, essentially. So that's uh, that's it for Thunderous. Now, I am going to leave my next pick up to Jar uh, because I know that he does not like this Pokemon at all, and he disagrees with drafting it in every league that I've ever been in with him. So I'm going to let him take it. Go ahead. All right. So let me tell you a little story. Empoleon is the worst mod ever. That is, that's all. Uh, Aster drafted Empoleon, and what did you name it? You named it Cobalt? Cobalt, yeah. Alright, so you should have just named it Garbage, uh, because, I, I don't know, it, it's good on paper, I'm not gonna lie, like, it seems good on paper, you know, it's a steel, water steel, it's got good coverage, it's got good bulk, it can set up rocks in defog, but every league I've ever seen it in, or used it in, every person who's ever drafted it has hated it because it basically fills too many roles. It's your defogger, it's your rock setter, it's your bulky water type, it's your bulky steel type, and you can't have all of those roles subjugated to one mod. It gets worn down too easily, it doesn't have recovery. If Empoleon got Roost, it might be one of the best mods in League format, but it's not. Uh, Aster got it because he needed a very solid rocker and he needed hazard removal. Uh, he's also blown uh, like 80 points at this point with his six, <laughs> with his first six picks. So uh, yeah. he, he, he was looking to just grab something that could fill his roles because he knew he wasn't going to fill a lot of them with the lower tier mods is I think why he drafted Empoleon. But let's see, maybe Aster proves me wrong. I don't know. I don't think so, but maybe he does. Now let me explain the pick a little bit more in detail. Uh, so yes, Jar does have a point. With these picks that we have so far, with uh, Lopany, Jirachi, Zygarde 50%, Florges and Thunder Asterion, out of the 100 points that I was allowed to, I still had to draft uh, at least three more Mons. I was down to something like uh, 22 points at this point. And uh, Mons that are a little bit more expensive are typically better. So I drafted Empoleon not as a bulky water, not as a bulky steel, but mainly as, my, as a secondary rock setter to pair with Jirachi. I already had a bulky steel in Jirachi, by the way and also a defogger. I absolutely needed hazard removal and I knew that there was a chance that I wasn't going to pick any more up along the way. I ended up getting one more defogger, you guys will see a little bit later, but the big thing was I knew that Empoleon, if it had to fill the role as a bulky water, it could with my team specifically because I do have wish passing support into it with Jirachi and with Florges. So if I needed to recover it up, I could do that. Now, again, it's another ground weak Mon. It's a secondary steel type that's also weak to ground types, but I have spent so much points at this point that I can't really uh, manage that. Now, what Empoleon does get, Jar was covering, uh, it, is it gets setup, actually. It gets agility, which can be run uh, with a Pattaya set. That was a, a very popular set in Gen 4. It's hard to pull off, but it also gets Swords Dance. It gets Defiant, if you guys don't know this. Uh, it can be run offensively because of this. Uh, if it comes in on webs or if something tries to intimidate it, it gets a plus one in its attack. And I did mention before that I was trying to get as much priority as possible. Empoleon also gets Aqua Jet. Now, its attack stat isn't the greatest at base 86, but it's definitely still usable, especially with Swords Dance, with Agility, with all these things. And its special move, uh, special move pool is very, very good. With Scald, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, all of this stuff that you guys see running across your screen. Uh, it fills the role, like Jar said once again, that I had to have on my team. Uh, something to, to just throw out Skulls and a uh, Defogger and a Stealth Rocker. A secondary Stealth Rocker were the main things. 
So that's Empoleon for me. That's the gist of it. So I'm just going to pause it real quick, guys, and we'll get into the last uh, portion of the team. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So you already see the next Mon up on your screen because that's the way I had to do it. But anyway, uh, the next Pokemon we picked was Absol. Just before we continue with the analysis, uh, I do want to mention that we, uh, we checked back to see how many points I had spent at this point, and it was 86. I was in 86 out of 100 points, and I still had at least two Mons to draft, and I knew that I wanted to have more than eight. I wanted at least a nine Mon draft, and I had two picks lined up. The next one was uh, four points, and the one after it was five, so I had a decision to make with my last two, whether I wanted to spend five points on one Mon, or three and two, on, or four and one on the last two. So... Uh, we'll see when we get there, but... Uh, Basically, he fucked himself for the second half of the draft. Yeah, pretty much. Unless you get some clean <laughs> discounts. Don't expect to see any cool mods in this next half of the video. Yeah, they're not... Well, I mean, there's one in there that I would consider cool, and I'm, I'm expecting it to do a lot of work, actually. But anyway, um, here we have Pandora, the Absol. So I knew I needed a dark type because Megalopony's biggest problem is bulky psychic types in general. Things like Mew, things like Cresselia. I wanted something to punish those. And Absol is one of the best with this base 130 attack. We did have Mega Absol in our uh, NPL Miners team. But for four points, Absol is definitely worth it. Jar actually was going to pick it up on his team, but it got sniped from him. Um, and as we covered in that draft analysis, knockoff, sucker punch once again, I did mention priority. Uh, we have a great special move pool, not as great a special attack as Mega Absol, of course, with only 75. But again, four times effective with flamethrower, ice beam, thunderbolt, stuff like that. Uh, can definitely work. Uh, it, it actually gets wish, but you're not passing wishes with Absol anytime soon with this 65 base, uh, base HP. Uh, gets baton pass, could be usable. Uh, basically, it's just here to Pursuit Trap, Knock Off, and Sucker Punch. It's it's kind of like an emergency button and a trapper at the same time. Uh, I can do a lot a lot of other things, uh, but mainly it's here to get rid of Psychic types. So there's not too much to talk about with, Meg with Absol, uh, unless you guys have something else to say about it. <laughs> and, uh, how do you say, very much strong, no? <laughs> I haven't heard that accent in so long. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> that was maybe the single dumbest thing I've heard in my if life. If you guys haven't checked out our Soul Link, go do that now. Oh god, the Soul Link. <laughs> the Soul Link. The Soul Link that lasted four it, it, episodes. Anyway, so yeah, that pretty much covers Absol. As you can tell, uh, Rob didn't have anything to say about it other than uh, how do you say uh, Moving on to my next Mon. Um, it's currently <laughs> nicknamed very strangely. But uh, I, I wanted to finish off the Firewater Grass Core, and uh, I was only one Mon deep with Empoleon, so I knew I needed something quick. Uh, once again, I was going for priority, and I was going for a, uh, a, a Rapid Spin Blocker, basically. I, need, I, I wanted a Ghost type on my team. Um, also, Ghost Stab is just generally really good, and uh, one of the most discount Mons, honestly, five points for this thing. Gorgeist, Grass and Ghost, I believe it only has four weaknesses total. Um, so really good and uh, this first ability is also really nice in league format because it allows you to scout What item your opponent is rocking on lead matchup or anytime you come in really is really nice uh, also this thing gets access to shadow sneak like I said before priority uh, and The fact of the matter is that I can run any Gorgeist form on my team I can run super I can run small if I want more speed uh, these stats are just its regular form that you see on your screen, but it already has base 90 attack. Its super form has base 100 with a much lower speed, uh, but this base 122 defense over here never changes. So this is one of my most physically defensive walls on my team. Uh, it's capable of taking a lot of hits that, say, Empoleon doesn't want to, uh, Jirachi. I did mention my huge ground weakness before, but now I don't have such a big one anymore with Gorgeist and Thunderous T. Uh, Gorgeist can take any ground hit anything you throw at it, at it pretty much so uh, that's that's why it's here it also gets access to destiny bond uh, good special move pool with energy ball giga drain stuff like that uh, leech seed is just annoying in general uh, it gets rock slide if it needs to hit a mega pincer for example Josh I'm not bringing that against you just so you know <laughs> uh, and yeah with flamethrower uh, will-o-wisp trick with a trick I'm gonna trick somebody a scarf this season guys watch this but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much core guys for you, Jar. I I count five weaknesses, motherfucker. <laughs> Is it five, really? Let me just. I actually five. really like Gorgas. Ice, flying. You're dark, right. And ghost. It is five, yes. And the next mon that we drafted. Now also they can't spam thousand arrows on you. 
Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Once uh, again. Gorgeist, Aster almost talked me into drafting this, but my draft plan got really, really fucky at the end. Yeah. Really screwed up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I consider it. I mean, I agree. It's it's undervalued. Uh, it uh, fills out a firewater grass core pretty nicely. It's a spin blocker, has recovery. I mean, I don't I honestly don't know why it's not used more. It's not a bad mod. It's very well. It's a, it's very good, and I've seen a lot of people use it well in the past. Uh, just take Dan A Drive for example. Uh, he used it very well in the season that he had it. So. Uh, Never heard of him. Yeah, sure you didn't. <laughs> anyway, so that's uh, that's Gore guys for you. Uh, moving on to my next mon. Uh, like I said, guys, I had five points left, so don't be surprised if these aren't the coolest mons ever. But I think I actually got a pretty good value pick with my second to last pick. Um, so far, my team doesn't look like it's super well supported by webs, but I did end up getting a web setter. Uh, I also wanted something with Intimidate potentially on my team. Uh, that could take a lot of the hits that the rest of my team couldn't. So maybe something else off the ground once again to pair with uh, Thunderous T. And uh, that mon is Masquerain. Now, you might be asking yourself, why the heck did he draft Masquerain? Well, uh, for three points, it's actually not too bad because in this generation, Masquerain actually got a buff. It got plus 20 in its special attack and plus 20 in its speed. So as you can see here, it has base 100 special attack now and base 80 speed. Now, this thing gets Quiver Dance. It is also my second Defogger. And my idea was, if my opponent doesn't have spikes, I'm going to bring Empoleon as my defogger most of the time. And if my opponent is using spikes, then I'm probably going to bring Masquerain, because Masquerain doesn't get hit by spikes. So that that was the idea behind that. Uh, defog, Quiver Dance, it gets Bug Buzz. It's actually, uh, it's, it's got a pretty cool, uh, cool move pool for a Quiver Dancer, uh, because it, it gets access to Ice Beam, Hydro Pump. Uh, it's, it's also got Roost, so it's got Recovery. Not that that really matters because of this frailty right here, as you can see. Uh, base 70 HP, base 62 defense. On the physical side, it's not taking hits, but after Quiver Dance, it could def definitely take some special hits if it wants to. Uh, again, this thing gets uh, Whirlwind, Tailwind, very good support moves. Uh, and also, like I said before, Sticky Webs. That's the big thing. Uh, my team under Sticky Webs uh, becomes very difficult to deal with. Uh, I think that applies to pretty much any team. Uh, but Megalopony, like, the only thing that you're going to be uh, bringing in uh, to, to outspeed it typically is going to be Choice Scarfers. And with uh, webs up, that's no longer an issue. So you pretty much have to have Mach Punch somewhere on your team if you want to outspeed it at that point. Uh, Jar, you want to go over... Uh over quiver me timbers uh, a little bit. It's dead boy. I'm, I'm saving all my fi all my uh, all my fire and ammo for the last mod. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. What I'll about go you? over it. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> so obviously, yeah, dumb impression. I think. It's Talk. Half, <laughs> it's half pirate arg. <laughs> what did he say? It's half pirate. <laughs> What the? Oh, because of Quiver Me Timbers, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, Greg named this for us. Uh, and yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's mouse screen. By the way, it gets Baton Pass. Quiver Bands, uh, we, we can't, I don't think plank. we can do uh, Quiver Dance Baton Pass. I'm not sure, though. Uh, gonna have to check that out. But yeah, that's uh, that's mouse screen for you. So it's just a web setter, a defogger as well. Uh, it's got a little bit of utility, especially with Intimidate. Anyway, um, Jar, you seem very interested by my last mon, so I'm gonna let you talk about it completely. Right. I would just like to apologize to Aster. Then I like Flareon. He, he was- SHUT THE FUCK UP! ROB! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was just gonna apologize to Aster because he worked so hard to get the two cores and he just couldn't find a good fire type to finish his water, grass, fire core. And I feel bad for that. Now, he, he really, of course- He really wanted that fire, water, grass core. Yeah, in, in the two pointers, uh, there's not too many good fire Wait, types. is there a joke here? Yeah. <laughs> The two that I was looking for, were, uh, that I was looking at, were Heatmore and Flareon, and everybody was telling me not to get Heatmore, but Heatmore actually has a surprisingly good move pool. Uh, yeah, but it's base 40 speed with no bulk. Its bulk is not that bad either, by the way, and it does get flash fire. That's the main thing I needed. If you guys haven't noticed, my team, other, actually no, my team does not have a fire resist at all. I so, fucked Aster with a fire type in our battle. Yeah, pretty much. I like, only heard the I, first three words. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Cut out. I couldn't have zero fire resist on my team. I needed at least one thing so that somebody with a strong fire type, like for example, Victini. Uh, if Victini can't spam V create against me as long as I have this thing because it does get flash fire, so it can't just sit there and do what it wants to. Uh, but also, this thing gets guts. So there's a very interesting uh, array of moves that you can run on this thing. Uh, it's also it also gets heal bell, but uh, this base 65 speed is not very good. But look at the look at this thing at max HP and max spadef. 
because it's special defense is actually really good. It's base 110. So other than Florges, I think this is my mon with the highest special defense, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just go back to the beginning of the team. I would just like to agree with you and agree that like I'm also glad Victini doesn't get any other moves or is allowed to run hidden powers and that it only gets uh, you know, V-Create, so... Yeah, for sure, yeah. Call it, call it, call it the counter. <laughs> I'm just talking about choice, obviously, because Victini pretty much, uh... Obviously! <laughs> Jar? Wow, someone's Are being you okay, bro? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I, I just needed to make sure that nobody could spam, like, choice fire moves against me, and that's why I picked up Flareon. Uh, I wanted something with flash fire, at the very least. Plus, it was two points. There was nothing else in the, uh, two-point tier that I looked at, and I was like, okay, I need this on my team. Uh, Flareon was sure. really... I'm pretty sure I didn't spend all my points. You could have just saved them for trade bait and free agency. Yeah, essentially. Well, I can always still trade my mons, and that's it's not uh, it's not a problem. If ever I feel like something's not working out as well as I wanted it to, like for example, uh, if I want to get rid of, let's say, uh, Absol, Flareon. What? Yeah, Flareon. Flareon. All right, Absol, um, Masquerade, and Flareon and all Polion. at the same time. I can actually pick up a little in Muck, for example. Ooh. You know. Like, there's a couple of things that I can do with these last remaining points that I've already looked at, and uh, for now, I'm going to try out the team the, the way it is. Uh, I think it's a pretty good team, especially with my first few picks, guys. I mean, like, that's that's the biggest part, is uh, build bulky offense like this, like you see over here, and uh, the rest really just, like, fill roles. That's, that's how I feel you should draft in general. Um, Jar's team is actually amazing. Like, he has offense the whole way through, but he also has very good... Uh, he has pretty good walls with decent what recovery as well. My team, check out my channel. I've actually posted videos in the last week. Yeah, he has. And uh, I'm going to be linking both Rob and Jar down below, so make sure to check them out uh, if you want to catch more of, uh, of their great commentary and uh, oh, yeah. Rob's impressions. <laughs> Would you trade your team for mine straight up, Aster? Would I trade my team for yours? No. Honestly. No, be honest don't with yourself. Yeah, you don't have to lie. No, I'm being perfectly honest. I would Aster, not. I hear you, you saying yes, but we know what you mean. Yeah, I mean no. There you go. By and that means you mean yes. No, <laughs> it means I mean no. No, Jared, I, I wouldn't what, because Jared, I, what are I you, honestly. What are you hearing? Honestly, remember, kids, fifty no's and a yes means honest, yes. <laughs> honestly, uh, the only reason that I, I'm saying no is because of megalopony. It's because I've never used it before, and no I, I want to try it. Like, I, I, okay, fine. If you ask me to I trade, if you ask me to trade everything but our megas, then I would consider it. I got your, I got the well, mega you want I'm too. Great. Yeah, but I wouldn't pair your mega with the rest of my team. All right, you know Aster, I mean? end the video and then disempoleon. You don't get to decide when my video ends. Aster, we're ending the video now. I'm, I'm keeping this going for another eight minutes so I can add another add in. How about that? Okay. Uh, it's 10 minutes for ads. Yeah, but every 10 minutes Aster, you get to I add say another end one. This in 8 minutes so we can add another ad. Anyway, guys, uh, I am going to end it off here uh, without uh, without honestly. Jar's permission. Thank you very All much. Permission granted. Yeah, Aster, you can end the video now. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. So Aster, that's going to go ahead and end it whenever you want. <laughs> that's going to be it for our uh, GPC feel season 6. Feel free to do your closing arguments whenever you feel necessary. Can I can I can I Outro, guys, please. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. All right, thank you. You have a permission. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to uh, do this real quick. There we go. And now I can't hear them anymore. Fantastic. So that's going to pretty much close it off for our draft recap for GPC Season 6, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out Jar and Rob in the description down below. They're spamming the chat right now. This is so funny. Um, yeah, make sure to check them out. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below for me if you did enjoy it. Comment, let me know what you think of the team, because these guys don't think it's that great, obviously. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.